If it wasn't for Liberty House right now, I wouldn't have a place to go. I've burnt a lot of bridges with my family and the people in my life. Really the only people I have left are people that are negative influences on me. I, I have no desire in my life to go back to that. You know, it, it created nothing but, but hurt and suffering for me and all those around me. And I'm just happy that I'm in the spot I'm in. Went to Cape May, New Jersey. I was in the Coast Guard, went to boot camp. Mostly did search and rescue. I was there for four years and then, uh, you know, Arnold was discharged. For me, it was a 20 year long period of, of uh, drinking and, uh, and then later using. It caused me uh, relationship issues, family issues, legal issues. And despite the negative consequences that came, I obviously wasn't ready. You'd think that someone would be ready, but consequences don't make you ready. Losing family doesn't make you ready. You know, you just really gotta, you know, see what those underlying issues are for why you do what you do. Situations kind of led me here, but now that I'm here, it's it's a positive. It's been the longest part of sobriety I've ever had. I'm scared to stop doing anything that I learned and everything that I'm doing here because I don't want it to stop. No one wants to feel like, you know, they're being a drain on life. We didn't join the service because we had no purpose. You know, we joined it because we had a sense of honor, integrity, and dignity. We put ourselves in a situation in life where we're not where we want to be. We don't feel good about our lives. We're not happy with our current situation. So to be able to come here and, and regain that, regaining of who you are and, and the future of what you could be, you know, you get your potential back. And uh, that's a beautiful thing.